Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, and this video is really cool. And yes, I say that every single video, and I mean it every single video, but this one specifically is really cool. And I really think you'll enjoy it. It involves an entire Backrooms level, currently, right now, being eaten alive by a giant space solar flare type thing that shoots radiation out of it. If that sounds cool, stick around for the video. But first, sub to Tugly. Let's get into it. So you guys remember back like a month or so ago when I made a video on Backrooms level 78. I'll link it down below if you want to go watch it, but pretty much it's a Backrooms level that is, or was rather, a level inside of a space station in what appeared to be actual outer space. The level itself was pretty much just the layout of a ship, a spaceship to be exact, and there were corridors and rooms and hallways and stuff like that. Anyways, none of that matters now since it's literally gonna blow up. So this video is gonna be all about how it just got destroyed, what led up to it, what this thing is, and how this is actually really cool to me. So to start off, I want to show you this warning message that appeared recently on the Wikidot that is a warning to everyone on level 78 that they should leave, and if they don't leave, they might not make it out alive. It says that the stability of the gravity inside of the space station on level 78 has been compromised, and that this anomaly is inching closer and has caused all these unforeseen electronic errors through something that's called an electromagnetic pulse because the anomaly shot an electromagnetic pulse at the space station. The note then says that the space station is on a direct collision course with this anomaly and is going to imminently be destroyed. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, what is this unforeseen electromagnetic pulse anomaly thing that's going to eat the space station on level 78? Let me explain. Level 78 is now classified as Class Astra and is literally listed as a cosmic anomaly with space-time altering properties and the potential of an existence of celestial life forms. Cool. Before it was a Class 1. This anomaly is called Blip 03 and is codenamed Ad Astra or the Anomaly. This anomaly poses a huge threat to all organic matter inside of level 78, inside the space station. It has an estimated diameter of 7.6 million kilometers and has an estimated volume of 229.8 million kilometers cubed, which, if you don't know, is huge. It looks like a huge white slash across the space landscape to the human eye, and sometimes it has rainbow colors that shoot through it and pulsate around it. And on top of this, sometimes Ad Astra randomly emits beams of microwave radiation with seemingly no warning, except that it kind of gets brighter in one huge pulse motion when it happens. And these bursts of the microwaves will hit the space station and immediately turn off all the electronics, including the gravity, for a bit until they can reboot, because that's what electromagnetic waves do. The waves don't hurt people that bad, but if you're on the level, for a bunch of those electromagnetic pulses, then you might start hearing a clicking noise in your ear because of the radiation's contact with your inner ear. So right after what I just told you was posted, another warning message was put up that pretty much says the original collision date was wrong and the collision will actually happen in two hours for the people inside of the station. So if anyone's left, they need to leave, but uh, kind of a late heads up there. The biggest problem with this world eating anomaly is that it can't even be measured or tracked or anything with any instruments that humans have. It has reality warping properties that literally make it impossible to track or estimate its course. And there's not even a way to predict any consequences for what might happen when it hits. So, since researchers can't measure anything or judge anything, or judge how much it's going to destroy, they all just agree that it's going to annihilate everything in its path, which, in my opinion, is a pretty good assessment to make. So, remember how I said the anomaly releases microwave blasts that cause ticking in people's ears? Well, apparently, it's the exact same ticking to everyone, and the ticking is actually a message in Morse code. Which, if you don't know what Morse code is, it's a series of dots and slashes that can be used as a kind of tapped language rather than actually speaking. It's just like... Taps. But apparently the clicking just repeats the following phrase. Quote, 
every angel is terrifying which is a direct quote from a book called Duino's Elegies, which is a book about existential crisis and struggling. So I guess this means that this anomaly might be sentient or might have some kind of consciousness. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that one thing from Loki, if you remember what I'm talking about, the thing that ate worlds or whatever. So after the information that I just told you was posted, Meg sent one final last warning message telling everyone to leave the level if they're there, and if they don't, well, they're pretty much calling them dumb. And then, Blip03, aka Ad Astra, aka The Anomaly, apparently destroyed level 78 and all the matter inside, and now this anomaly takes up the entire level. Nice! So, to summarize all of that crazy information I just said, Level 78, which originally was a pretty safe level, and is now being overtaken by a anomaly solar flare type thing that shoots all kinds of radiation out of it and can melt anything that it comes in contact with. This anomaly caused a level evacuation notice to ensue all around the level 78s and all around the back rooms. And I mean, come on. It just sounds pretty dope that a world-eating, sentient, radiation-filled, solar flare, cosmic thing literally ate an entire level. I mean, that just sounds cool to me. I wish more levels got destroyed by more stuff that we couldn't control. It's a cool concept. So yeah, that is it for the video. I know it was a little bit different, but I just saw it on the wiki dot, and I knew I wanted to cover it because it's really cool to me that an entire level was laid to waste by a random anomaly. I know I've said anomaly like 15 times. In space. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then you're cool and I appreciate you. If you didn't, kind of an L take there, but thank you all for everything you do for me. Thank you for interacting with the videos and content. Thank you for just being you and cool. Thank you for everything. I have so many good video ideas that I have in my head and on paper. I just have a hard time choosing which ones to do. I'm just gonna make all the videos and just put them out for you. Let's just say the backrooms is just now getting started. It's gonna be awesome. Go check out the description for any links that you might be interested in, like my Twitter or my Discord, Patreon or channel memberships, or anything like that. Also, go check out my Twitter and send me a DM if you'd be interested in editing videos for Toogly. Looking for a gaming video editor over there. So if that sounds interesting to you, or if you can vouch for somebody, go shoot me a DM over there and tell me. I'm looking for an editor. Anyways, thank you to all my patrons and channel members for everything you do for me and for supporting the channel. And just thank you so much for everything. Thank you all for the insane growth. The last video literally blew up. It got like 70k views in less than a day and a half. Just thank you so much for everything. It's just, it's incredible. This community that we're building and this culture, this creepypasta that we continue to just grow. It's awesome. I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope you're hyped for what's to come. Peace.